Ohio State has canceled their home and home series with Washington in 2024 and 2025. Uh, Ohio State said that they are going to abide by the terms of the contract, including any liquidated damage. Now, the series was announced in April of 2017. It had Ohio State traveling to Seattle in 2024, and it had Washington traveling to Columbus in 2025. The Washington AD, Jennifer Cohen, stated, We are very disappointed that our student athletes, staff, and Husky Nation won't get to experience these two games with Ohio State. Everyone has had these dates circled for a number of years, and we were looking forward to these opportunities to compete against the Buckeye. We are in the process of finding new opponents for the 2024 and 2025 seasons, and we'll provide an update as soon as we have. First off, Ohio State has a series scheduled with Texas in 2025 and in 2026. So playing Texas and Washington in 2025, along with a nine-game Big Ten schedule, seemed pretty ambitious from the get-go, right? But there's not currently another P5 opponent for Ohio State in 2024, which makes this very interesting. Usually, rather than canceling an entire series, you cancel the second game or the first game, whatever it is. You push it to a later date. We've seen that happen with, for example, Alabama. They had a series with Notre Dame scheduled for 2028 and 2029, but then they scheduled a series with Ohio State with games set to take place in 2027 and 2028 and with Oklahoma State with games booked in 2028 and 2029. So originally, the 2028 season would have had an eight-game SEC schedule with Oklahoma State, Notre Dame, and Ohio State in the non-conference. So Alabama pushed the Notre Dame games back to 2029 and 2030. So you don't just completely cancel the series. You just push back the date. However, we have seen some instances recently of schools canceling non-conference series just flat out. First, we saw Michigan cancel games with UCLA for 2022 and 2023. Now, the biggest reason at the time, or I guess that wasn't 20, that's this year and next year. Yeah, no, no, that's right, that's right, 2022 and 2023. Uh, now, the biggest reason at the time was to make sure that Michigan had seven home games in both seasons, and there was also talk of renewing the Notre Dame rivalry at the time. So there could have been other things at play, but the series was canceled back in summer of 2019. UCLA announced they were joining the Big Ten in 2021, so maybe there were some dots connected. Who knows? Uh, this past year, Georgia was directed to cancel a 2023 non-conference game with Oklahoma, which obviously made sense because they weren't going to be able to finish out the home-and-home before Oklahoma joins the SEC. So, of course, going around on Twitter and other social media, does this mean that Washington could be headed to the Big Ten? Now, we just talked about the mayhem going on with the Pac-12 TV deal and what they can reasonably expect to get in their media rights negotiation. Uh, The Big Ten does not currently have a commissioner, but if you remember, their upcoming TV deal does have an escalator clause in case of further expansion. Now, it's been reported that it only names Notre Dame in that uh, escalator clause, but, you know, the question here, could Big Ten presidents be realizing that they can get Washington and maybe another school to join for cheaper than USC and UCLA? Like, other Big Ten members will be uh, averaging media payouts over $50 million next year. Could they get Washington to take, like, $35 million a year for a few years in order to pair them back up with USC and UCLA? Uh, You know, Washington does it to make sure their athletics programs are stable in the future. Like, all that sounds great, but I don't think it's happening. And the tell was pretty easy. Like, if Washington was going to join the Big Ten, why would they make a big deal about Ohio State canceling the series and paying the buyout? Like, remember, the report said Ohio State is going to pay the cancellation fee, including any liquidated damage. Like, if you're going to be conference cohort, they'd have nixed that thing. They probably wouldn't have announced this cancellation at all. Like, truth be told, this cancellation could just be about the Texas series. Uh, But to me, the real answer is that Ohio State knows that they are going out to L.A. to play either UCLA or USC in 2024. And my guess is they don't want to schedule two West Coast road trips in the same season. Like, I believe you're going to see less of a priority on non-conference scheduling going forward in the Big Ten and likely in the SEC as well. Like, I would not be surprised to see schools cancel a lot of these big-time home-and-homes that you already see scheduled. Uh, We've already got, like, Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, Florida State, Michigan, Oklahoma, UCLA, Auburn, Minnesota, Alabama, etc. Like, this just happened to be the first one. Once you get into a 16-team league and you change up the scheduling, etc., there's no reason to do this anymore, especially with the expansion of the playoff. Like, there's no reason to do it. So, I don't think that you have too much to read into on Ohio State canceling this series, but I could be wrong about that obviously we'll wait and see Uh, my guess is this is just the first of many of these big time non-conference matchups that are going to either be bought out or both sides will say eh we're just gonna scrap that hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button and of course jump in the comments Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures.
Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.